Hey there. Uh, I know this video is overdue, but if you can tell by my voice, I've come down with a bit of a man cold. And believe it or not, this is the best I've sounded in about a week. So, all right. So here's our project where we left off. So right now, if we uh, swap our pieces, oops, swap our pieces, we can get them to destroy. The columns will collapse. However, some of you have pointed out um, that we have this null reference exception error, and quite a few of them. If I go to my console right now, I got 21 just from that little little thing there. I have it set up still so that if I right click, I create a color bomb and I can swap to get rid of all those pieces. Um, we're going to uh, input the logic for that, but I thought that we should probably fix this error that's coming up here before we go any further. Right now, this error isn't necessarily affecting our game at all. However, if left unchecked, it very much could. And see, now I'm at 136 errors. So you can get a lot of errors just from playing for a little bit. So, um, and let me explain where the error is, and thank you very much to uh, a watcher who pointed out what my issue was and explained how to fix it. Um, I believe your name was Carl, I'm not 100% sure, but thank you very much for paying attention and pointing that out to me. That's awesome. I am by far not the best programmer in the world, so if you guys ever think of a way to do it that would be easier than the way that I'm doing it, or if you ever see a flaw in my logic, please don't hesitate to point it out. I am not fragile. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's open up our scripts here. And the script I want to look at right now is the find matches script. So go ahead and get that open. And let me explain where the error is, because you should never fix a bug that you don't understand. Because if you're fixing a bug you don't understand, you're probably going to make that error again sometime. Um, so you always want to trace bugs down to where they live and then get rid of them there. So anyway, here's where the bugs are coming from. If we look at Unity uh, in the console, it tells me that uh, all of these are 84. I got some that are 101. Uh, there's some 84s there. Let's see. Yeah, they're just 84s and 101s. There's more than just those two errors, though. So line 84 in my code is right here, where I'm assigning the uh, right dot dot, which is a dumb name. I should come up with a better name for that. But anyway, uh, the right dot dot to be the dot object of the right dot. And the problem is, once we go through our game here, so let me show you where the issue is coming, up, coming from exactly. So... I'm going to make a color bomb so that this is going to be pretty dramatic. So I'm going to make that one a color bomb. And then I'll swap it and pause it. So if I go back to my game here, I'm going to go frame by frame. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now, if we look at our... I guess we can't because we can't see two-dimensional arrays. But our board has this array of all the pieces. And it's empty here, 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 and here. And those are all empty. But my find matches coroutine is still running in the background. So it's going to go for a current dot, which is at this piece ij. And I had some logic here earlier to make sure it wasn't null, but I put this line, this line 78, where I shouldn't have. Um, because right now, it's saying the current dot is board all dots ij, which could be empty because I have all of these empty spaces in my game. And so because it could be empty, when I'm trying to assign the dot from that object that's empty, it's going to give me a null reference exception error because I'm referencing something that doesn't exist. And in math, the name for things that don't exist is null. So the first thing I'm going to do to fix this is I'm going to take this line here. I'm going to cut it out. So Command X to cut. And I'm just going to put it inside this first statement. That way I'm going to protect it, so I'm not going to assign the current dot dot to anything that doesn't exist. Um, and that fixes one of the null reference exception errors. The other null reference exception errors come from here, uh, between lines 82 and 85, and between lines 101, which should sound familiar, and 104. So here's the problem. I'm doing the same thing with the left dot and the right dot. I am assigning them as a game object, but that game object could be null. And then I'm setting the dot to be the dot object of that game object, but if that game object were null, then I'd get a null reference exception error. So I'm going to take this line right here, 
this left dot dot. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to put it next to the right dot dot. And then in between, where I'm assigning these game objects and then referencing the dot part of them, I'm going to add an if statement that only accesses this group of code if those objects aren't null. So I'm going to say if left dot is not equal to null and right dot is not equal to null, then I can do everything that's in here. And I've got these two if statements here, so I've got this for that, that if statement, this for that if statement, and I added another one, so I add another uh, end brace. So that protects me there. Now, I need to do the same thing for the up dot and the down dot. So I'm going to take this line here about up dot dot, I'm going to uh, cut it out, I'm going to paste it down here, and then in between these two lines, I'm going to add another if statement. So if up dot is not equal to null, and down dot is not equal to null, then um, I'm going to actually assign those pieces, and right there. Okay, so now if I save this, if I pop back into Unity, um, it's going to give me all kinds of errors because I was editing it while I was still playing. So I'm going to unpause and go out of play mode here, uh, go back in, and then we'll see if we get those errors now. So pieces fall from the sky, uh, swipe, no null reference exception errors yet. So I'm just going to keep going just a little bit here. Still no null reference exception errors. I still get column bombs that form like they should. Or sorry, that was a row bomb, but y you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> that's good, that's good. And over here on the console, I have no null reference exception errors. So thank you very much. Um, I want to say your name is Carl. I'm sorry I don't remember. I should have written it down. Um, for pointing out the error in my logic, I appreciate it. And hopefully this fixes um, any issues that some of you may or may not have had. So, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the adjacent bomb. And then we're going to create a method that looks to see if we have five or eight pieces that are matched. And then we're also going to decide if it should be a color bomb or an adjacent bomb that falls there. The adjacent bomb, by that I mean like the, the wrapped candies from Candy Crush. After that, we'll do the spaces and the gelatin, and then we'll get to UI and scoring and stuff. So, yeah, sorry this took so long. Like I said, I've had a man cold, and uh, yeah, this is the, today is the day that I felt and sounded the best. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wherever you are, and... Yeah, until later.